Hey everybody, I'm um, sorry I didn't put any videos up yesterday, I felt really kind of sick right around noonish, so I, uh, I pretty much laid down on the couch and uh, <laughs> didn't move until about the same time this morning, so probably a good 22 to 24 hours worth flat on my back uh, trying to feel normal-ish, and uh, I took care of... Uh, but 98% of uh, the Eldar table, and uh, I'm really excited about it, so I'm not going to wait, I'm just going to show it. So, this is for you, Mr. Bowman. Twelve feet of this. I'll just do a slow pan. Yeah, I would enter this normally to Mini Wargaming, but I started before their due date. So, gotta be fair. But this is the monstrous Eldar table. Twelve feet. The actual cloth extends to a full 16 feet. Two full 8 foot tables long if you want to uh, mix it up. And as you can tell, this is very full of terrain. This is, uh, I would hazard to guess this is more than your standard uh, two tables um, once it's all packed in. Um, as you can see, we have laser shielding. We have our smaller bastion. I've got to put uh, two more hard points there for two more uh, prism cannons on it. Um, you can see the the uh, the hatch door is going out onto the deck. Uh, the whole thing's magnetized, and uh, troops can move underneath it. And it's got stairways going up to both of the decks, and room inside for troops. Um. That is, uh, uh, what do they call them? Warp gates? Jump gates? I'm having a brain fart. Anyways, I thought it would be really cool to have like a firing deck on it where they could actually protect it um, while things were, uh, were uh, zipping in from other dimensions. So it's got an, ex uh, an elevated firing deck uh, big enough for troops and of course it's got uh, two stairways leading up to it. Um, this is a, uh, a small bunker defended landing platform. It's got a smaller uh, platform underneath. I'm assuming that they can just drop a ladder down and go from there to there. It's got two ladders um, and it's got four total uh, small protected bunkers surrounding it. Um, there's the other one. These are small uh, tactical bunkers that uh, the Eldar can sit behind. They've got a smaller kind of prism style laser. I've got to finish up the laser tips for those. And the thing I am most proud of is that big monstrosity right there, which is the, uh, the large double-decker bunker, which features uh, four uh, completely enclosed bunker tops. Uh, as you can see, they've got doors heading out to the upper decks for things to land on. Where there's not room for things to land on, you've got more than enough firepower occupying that space. And uh, the two flying buttresses on each side feature a light and heavy prism cannon for a variety of firepower. And on top of it, you can uh, have your far seers or whoever it is you want uh, controlling uh, the battlefield. Um, I wanted to mix in with a, uh, a jungle styling because he wanted uh, like a jungle style uh, table. I think it mixes in nicely between the, the nice clean flowing uh, lighter uh, Eldar lines with uh, the just the rough jungle look. Um, I wanted to give it a futuristic appearance so I made it look as if the uh, Eldar, as you can see, um, it's kind of a rough structure there. 
I want it to look as if the uh, Eldar actually took the lava stone, crushed it up, and made um, concrete lava uh, walkways going out into the lava ocean of which they, um, they mine precious minerals, stones, what have you, from the lava. Um, I went for a narrative look as if the ancient peoples, uh, as the Eldar have been around forever, um, they of course have run across um, ancient civilizations who uh, thought of them basically as gods. And um, so there you see your ancient uh, structures. Uh, this can also function as uh, uh, if you wanted to go with like a Lizardman uh, army next for fantasy, this would be like the perfect jump off point, but it also just really adds to the narrative aspect of the whole jungle theme. So uh, I was real, real happy about that. So this is basically uh, my table, and um, I'm uh, very, very, very happy with it. Um, took forever to make, but uh, I think it was well, well, well worth the effort. This is the kind of table that I would like to have uh, coming into like a con of some sort where people uh, can walk by and, and get all excited and get all wowed uh, before they go off and, and uh, you know, get to their game, get to their shopping, get to whatever, meet friends, etc, etc, etc. So... Also, you will see uh, this being used as a uh, battle report table with me and the wife uh, doing one little battle on it before uh, we send it off to Mr. Bowman. Um, if there's anything I forgot or am missing, I'm, I'm juggling a ton of stuff, please, please, please get in contact with me and remind me, and I will take care of it. But uh, as of right now, this is it. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm extremely happy. And I'm going to do a couple of uh, flybys on it as if you were in a grab falcon or something. So you can get kind of a feel for what this would look like. And then we'll go back, we'll do a flyby on the uh, left. Since people like uh, seeing what the, the troop view is. And down the middle. A little bit of real estate there, huh, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy about it.
Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I had a ton of fun making it. Um, very, very, very uh, work intensive, but very, very, very worth it. So I hope you guys have an awesome Monday. Once again, I was sorry I was sick yesterday and I didn't get more vids up. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Take care. Love you, everybody. Bye-bye.